Deja vu. A deja vu is usually a glitch in the matrix. It happens when they change something. At first I was like, whoa, because the statue had wings and couldn't fly. But then I was like, no, because Batman has the same problem. The main character is battling some demons, which is evident by the nightmare that causes them to wake up in the middle of the night. Problems in the bedroom aren't the only issue because when the main character takes a train trip to a social event, another problem rears its ugly head when the festivities are cut short by these evil henchmen guys. There's this dude with Cisco colored facial hair and he really gets the kick out of teenagers risking their lives for sport. First, he hires this chubby blonde gentleman to keep a close eye on the children. Jump forward five seconds because spoiler alert, dude has ulterior motives and at the end of the movie, it's revealed that he's a double agent. But after the double agent is introduced, it's announced that they'll have a special change to the rules for the games this year. The rule change sucks and pisses off the main characters, but the games must go on. The main character's name is pulled out of the cup and nobody claps. No offense is taken, but it's weird considering the reaction that the other handsome guy got when he volunteered. I mean, the main character's best friend basically changed his sexual preference for about two seconds and a half. When the game start, you worry that age is a factor and the main kid will lose because the age and experience of the other competitors. But there's a mentor character who's there to help the hero and he's supposed to cancel all that age slash experience nonsense out but you still worry because of his drinking habits the movie keeps reminding us that he's got issues because there's exactly five scenes where he's seen gulping down foreign substances go home bro you're drunk. Being a celebrity does have its perks though. The dude who under normal circumstances would have had to use the Bill Cosby and approach to getting women is now seen as a sex symbol. And every little kid wants your autograph if you volunteer for the games. Before the games start, they hold this festive celebration and it's pretty cool or arguably pretty hot since people are breathing fire and whatnot. Then they send you off to get your 15 minutes of fame with this reporter who puts all your business out on Front Street. Once the games begin, be prepared because some gruesome stuff happens. But it's funny when you think about it, but probably just try to hold it in. I don't always smile, but when I do, I probably shouldn't. We learned that apparently solos are only for Star Wars characters because everybody in the movie are involved in an alliance. I couldn't stand it when people formed an alliance back in the day on road rules challenges, but I accept it here because the games are crooked letter O, freaking dangerous. Statistics show you're liable to drown, suffer from a loss of hearing, or face injuries from someone trying to commit your suicide by splitting your wrist. You know, I'm willing to bet this isn't what the kids signed up for when I think of games. I think of synonyms like recreation, entertainment, and hmm, I don't know, uh, playtime? I mean, people actually die in this tournament. But name one person in the hood that play like that. The games are pulled to a screeching halt when the main dude uses their signature weapon thingy and shoots it in the air. Chaos ensues and hey Hollywood, God called and he wants his only begotten son back. Which is fitting because the movie gets a baptism by fire before the credits start rolling. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. A man goes into the YouTube comment section. You listening? Okay. A man goes into the YouTube comments, right? And he reads, The books are way better than the movies. So the man responds with, Is there something wrong with the movie? Then the other guy's like, Just read the book. Read it. Will you just read the book? Then the man writes, Yeah, but what's wrong with the movie? What? Movie's too long? Too boring? And he yells in all caps, Aha! Aha! Look, some of my favorite movies are based off of books, and I wish that I had like 10 more hands to count the amount of times that I get a friend telling me that the book is way better than the movie. See, I'd love to find out myself, but reading? Ain't nobody got time for that. But kudos to audible.com. Now you could transform your commute, workout, chores, or etc. into listening times for your favorite stories. With over 180,000 titles, including new releases and bestsellers in every single genre, and <clears throat> Many of the books are narrated by the authors themselves or famous people. But hey, you don't have to take my word for it. Special treatment for all Couch Tomato fans, and you guys get to see it for yourself by going to audible.com slash couchtomato to download a free audiobook of your choice and start your free 30-day trial today.